Hey everybody, Rory from ANS Gear here. We're looking at another backpack from Die today. This is the Die Backpacker 0.35T. So this one has a ton of different little compartments in it and they've had backpacker models before. This is just the latest version of the Die Backpacker right here. Uh, it's got a lot of little compartments, a lot of little goodies inside of there. Uh, it's just, it's a great backpack. Not too terribly heavy, like their Fuser backpack, which is the one step down um, from this backpack. This backpacker is very light as well. I like the way it's constructed. I like the lightness of a backpack. Sometimes you just don't need a big backpack. You need a small backpack. This is kind of in between that. I got a tiny, tiny backpack, like the Fuse backpack, has a little couple compartments, and not a bananas redonkulous backpack. This is kind of like right in the middle, and I like that. Plenty of compartments, plenty of stuff to look at, so let's get right to it. We'll start in the middle of the backpack right here. You've got one little zippered section, which kind of allows you to get, it doesn't allow you to get inside this part of the backpack, but it allows you just some room. The, the, the I'm gonna say the pocket actually kind of goes up this way, like into here. It's not this way, although you can kind of pull it down there, but I think it was more designed to go this way, or it was just kind of designed to be in the middle. I'm not sure, but you could do it either way, right there. So a little outside package. You can unzip the top of this main package and then get in this. You can see this part right here. This is the this pouch on the outside right here. So um, you can see it right there kind of just hanging around inside there. So depending on whether you want it to go straight down like that or come back up, I guess that's really up to you and how you're setting your backpack up right there. But for other uh, sections of this right here, you've got a little slot here, some thin ones for pens and pencils, and then this unzips, and you've got another one that goes the full length of the inside right here. So another zippered little pouch. So a bunch of little pouches on the outside in a pouch. Pouch in a pouch in a pouch. I like that. On both sides over here, we've got just these little zippered sections, which would be great for, you know, some keys. You can put um, a sunglasses case inside of there. I definitely wouldn't put your sunglasses in this section right here. There's other parts for that. But just, you know, two little oddly shaped pouches right there where you can throw some stuff inside of. Hey, more pouches the better, right? Coming up to the top of the bag, this one unzips, and this one is actually nice, um, like microfibery, um, felty almost uh, insides right there. So this would be great for sunglasses. If you're not putting your sunglasses in a case and then putting them away, you could drop them right down in here. Or if you have a phone or something, you're worried about the face of your phone getting scratched or something that you just want to protect from being jabbed or poked or whatever by other stuff, this is a great spot to put that. I like that lining inside there, nice and soft. Top of the backpack has a nice carry handle on there, it gives you something really to grab onto. If we flip it over, we've got nice padded straps all the way down, D-ring to put some uh, extra accessories on there. You've got this cross support, so this is gonna go across your chest, and I like a backpack with this on it, even just an everyday backpack. Because for me, what happens a lot, I don't know if this happens to you with backpacks, is the strap coming across, if you're wearing it all day long, really will start to get into like the front of your armpit and start to kind of wear and, and it starts to hurt after a while right there. Kind of just rubs you all day long. Um, for having something at the front that will keep the straps directly in front of you rather than sliding over into your armpit area, I love to have these on there and it really just makes a backpack comfortable to wear all day long. So uh, if you're one of those people who find yourself in a backpack all the time, look at getting some straps for the front right there. Plus, these ones do slide up and down. I like this adjustability right here. It goes up and down there. You just need to move them up and down, and then you can adjust how close they stay to the middle. Bottoms are adjustable as well, so depending on how you like your backpack to sit, low down, high up, whatever it happens to be, you can do that. And then nice padding through the back area and then the lower back support uh, padded area really allows some air to get through this back of the backpack and keeping you as cool and comfortable as possible while you're wearing a backpack. I know backpacks can get sweaty, so any little bit helps. Now, let's get into 
the main sections of it. Well, this opens up. Remember, this is that padded section with the that nice microfiber felty inside. We get down into this. You can see that these ones right here are these pouch sections right here. So this first section that we're opening up right here is just a, an open backpack area. It doesn't have any dividers or anything inside of it. Obviously, you can see the parts from the other sections, but this is just an open um, cavity to put stuff in for a backpack. Makes it easy. If we go to the next section down though, right here, and open that up, now we've got some division going on in here. We have another pouch right here, which is lined with that same kind of stuff we saw on the front, kind of like a kangaroo pouch going on down in there. You could drop stuff in there that doesn't have um, like a covering on it. Maybe you've got like a tablet or something that doesn't have a case for the front. You want to protect that screen, you can drop it right down in there. That's nice. And then we've got another section at the back right here for any kind of laptops. This will fit up to a 15 inch laptop right there. You can drop that down inside and protect that as well. So I like these little sections that have this super soft microfiber uh, lining in there. They're really, really comfortable. I like that outside pouch for your sunglasses. It's just a great all around backpack. I like the fact that it's got that strap for the front. Can't go wrong. So uh, if you're looking for kind of an in-between backpack, not super lightweight, although this is pretty darn lightweight, but not crazy backpack, check this one out, Backpacker 0.35T. It's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.